We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. Hey, my name is John Pinch, MDT Pro Shooter. We're going to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of using a suppressor for hunting. So, probably get a little controversial because people seem to love or not as much love suppressors. I'm of the opinion that they're a, a waste of weight on a mountain hunt. <laughs> and I got a lot of buddies that use them, but to me, um, you see all these guys of like cutting every last, cutting their toothbrush in half and every last strap off their backpack and getting the titanium fork and spoon. And then they clamp on a big pipe on the end of their gun that they do not need. So <laughs> how's that for being, uh, being forward with my opinion? But I pack these little guys around that weigh not even close to an ounce versus Good suppressor, I have them, I love them. I use them for certain things, but not for backpack hunts. You have plenty of time, in my opinion, to throw in some earplugs once you found the animal you're after. People think that animals stick around longer for a second shot, I think that's not true. I've shot plenty of times with a break at an animals and they either move or they don't move, but it's not gonna change with the suppressor. Like I've been downrange in the pits, thousand yard bench rest. The bullet, you don't hear the gun going off at a thousand yards away. Um, you hear the supersonic crack of the bullet going by and that's all and that's all the animal hears whether you're suppressed or not. So the idea that the big boom is going to keep animals around I think is a little bit of a unproven wives tale. I think they see you, they smell you, they're gone but you know at a little longer ranges you know four, five, six hundred yards and out um, I don't think they're going to run like people claim suppressors prevent them from running. So my personal opinion you can hate me if you want. I think where I do like them, I use them a lot uh, on my trainer guns here to be a little more neighborly. If I'm going to shoot 400 rounds on a Saturday when the neighbor's half a mile away down the road or having a barbecue, I, I get that. You're going to eliminate some boom and it's going to be it's going to be a little quieter uh, for them. So just do that. I also like it adds recoil. Um, it's harder to spot your shots with a suppressor than a break. And so I think it helps with training where kicks a little bit more, so you gotta be more um, attentive and have your form built better, recoil, or manage the recoil better than you do with the brake, so I think that helps for training. Um, if I'm night hunting, I like them a lot. Um, varmint hunting, you're shooting a ton, it's just more comfortable. I, I get all those arguments, but I think the big game argument a lot of guys are making that it allows for more shots or something is silly to me. I've seen a lot of animals shot with a break that don't run. I've seen animals shot with cans that run. It's, it's, it's the same thing. So that's my opinion, sticking to it, <laughs> deal with it.